J Flight 264 Bunkhouse by Jayco RV here at Haylet RV of Southern Michigan. Uh, we are one of the very largest uh, outlets for Jayco RVs in the state and really in the nation. We're one of the, the very top dealerships in one of the very largest states for RV sales. And uh, all of those things are not a coincidence. Um, first of all, we work really close and really fair with people to cut good deals and we work on a volume basis, you know. Uh, I'm not opposed to getting a whole hog out of a trailer, but I'll settle for a ham sandwich. <laughs> um, the uh, other thing is this is the number one selling series of travel trailer for 10 going on 11 years and it will achieve that 11 year ranking because it's more than double the number two guy. It's not even close. This is the, uh, the undisputed undefeated champion of the world basically. Um, double the industry standard warranty. They have a lower level floor deck because they use a different um, uh, frame system on this. Uh, so it, the, uh, the trailer doesn't actually ride lower. And what's funny is the trailer's not actually taller. The floor is just sunk into the chassis a little bit more. And that gives this thing a taller interior. This is their most baseline base series trailer, the J-Flight SLX. If you think of it like a car where there's the baseline LS, the upgraded LT, then the fancy pants LX, this is the LS. This is the all thriller, no filler, I don't need uh, GPS and nav type uh, level RV. Still, But here's the thing, it still has everything you need and nothing you don't. Again, all thriller, no filler. We still have an outside shower, we still have your nice park cable hookups. Uh, this actually still has a uh, push button simple power awning. So you don't have to wrestle with this thing. You get to spend more time camping and less time messing with stuff. We still have a gas electric water heater. Most things in this class are gas only. Um, we still have a nice, uh, even a Furion outside speaker system. Uh, we have, uh, we still have central air. We still have that double length warranty because this is the same shell and structure as its big brother J Flight. It's just the simplified version. It's the one that doesn't have all the extra bells, whistles, widgets, and whiz bangs. Um, it's everything you need and nothing you don't, guys. Um, Stepping inside here, again, a, a key factor on these is the taller interior height. And that is a, uh, uh, an uncommon quality in the trailer business, especially at this price point. Um, average travel trailer has a 78 inch tall ceiling, actually 78 inch walls. Um, this is 81 tall, three extra inches. Maybe it doesn't sound like much, but here's the difference it makes. We get bigger cabinets, bigger windows, a taller shower, taller bunks. All of that stuff, kind of, it's a cascade effect where all this stuff works together to give you a superior experience. Now, we still have nice LED lights, we still have central AC, it's everything your family needs to go camp in spring, summer, and fall. That's, that, that's exactly what this is for. It's everything you need, nothing you don't. Uh, the trailer I generally camp in is this exact model. So you're getting kind of a sneak peek into my life. This is, you know, I, I see all these crazy RVs, but when I go camping, I just unplug, you know? I do go park camping, I don't primitive camp, but uh, it is it is nice just to get away, have a simplified experience, and just sort of focus on going outside and doing with your family. That's what this camper's about. We got enough space in here to cook, we got enough space to sleep, everyone, and this actually has really good storage. But you're gonna spend most of your time outside here, and that's what's nice. You know, other little things in this class, and actually for a lot of money more, you usually don't have one switch lighting. And it's those little minor detail things, all these little things I'm sharing that are gonna define this trailer. This is actually not even just gas and electric, it's a fast recharge. You can get up to 18 gallons of hot water per hour on a family class trailer. That's usually not the, uh, the, the case. We actually still have drawers. We still have a dedicated wastebasket area there. Uh, you know, we still have the things uh, you see in these bigger fancy coaches uh, just at not all the money, you know. The dinette and the sofa behind me, we'll see in a moment, can still fold into sleepers. We still have a nice big window here. The windows are still UV tinted. That is something that this uh, this class and even the one above it tends to not always do. Um, they've uh, recently updated, at the time of this filming anyway, their cabinet hardware uh, uh, methods and stuff. And the uh, this is just really good looking. It's very, I like these bigger pull handles. It's just easier to actually get your hand on the thing. And this cabinetry is all screwed together, not stapled together. This board is screwed down into that one. Staples and glue wiggle loose. It's just that simple. Um, you do have the ability to put a flat screen on the wall over here if you are so inclined. Again, this being a camper, not an RV, it is uh, a little more, uh, you know, base level that way. However, 
the uh, important things, again, like your bedding. You're going to spend one third of your life here. Let's enjoy it. Jayco's beds are 50% thicker. You see this extra dark band up here? That is bonus space as compared to the, the normal mattress that everyone else seems to give you. So you're going to have a better night's sleep here. You have lights for each place. You see we do have central air vents back here to the bunk. Um, you know, you have a uh, extra spotlight down here for the lower bunk as well. You saw that storage below. Now they have a, a split bathroom here, and the reason they do this is if you're going to sleep, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight people in here, you might have a situation where someone's using the uh, the bathroom while someone else needs to brush their teeth or wash their hands. And this is another thing. They are actually including a sink here so that when you're done in the bathroom, you don't have to go wash your hands uh, from bathroom time in the food prep sink area. They give you a second area there. Um, the uh, stool in this class, you usually don't get foot flush. You often get a centrifugal, which is where it has the handle back here. You have to get your face right up near your business to, to pull the handle. Now you don't gotta worry about it. And once again, the extra tall interior, it was literally the final deciding factor for me to look at it, uh, you know, spending my, my free time in a J-Flight versus something else. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of really nice campers out there. Um, there's a lot of very, very, very nice trailers out there. And, um, but it, it was, uh, I was looking for something simple, but I needed something that was big guy friendly. And that's where this one really spoke to me. Um, the uh, Moving forward here, the sofa can jackknife down into a sleeper. There's actually a little storage pocket for linens under here if you lift that up. You see that you can actually still get under there. Now, it's not the most convenient place to get to, but you're not going to put your, your silverware down there. You're going to put your odds and ends down there. Easy walk around bed with CPAP charging stations on both sides of the bed. Big ones, too, so you can, I mean, you can really throw a lot of stuff up there. Still have his and hers wardrobes. Again, extra, there's at least three of these really nice bright LED lights just up in the bedroom, and the bed does lift for storage below. And that's the thing, guys. This has everything you need, nothing you don't. It's all the stuff that makes J-Flight the number one selling series of trailers out there from the number one family-owned um, and, uh, you know, independently operated dealership in the state. So give us a call, 800 256 5196 Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping everyone.